Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your Samsung washing machine that's giving out a DC error. Now you have a DC error code here on your screen. Yours might look different to this one, but the diagnosis and repair will be similar across many different models. Now DC error in most Samsung washers indicates a fault within the door switch circuit. So you could either be the wiring for the door switch, the door switch itself, or high resistance within the wiring. We're gonna find out what's going on with yours. Now, if you look on mine, you can see that the there is that door lock sign is on. And on yours, what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna try to open the door and you can feel that the door is indeed closed. It's locked. The door lock is registered that it's locked. If you try to open it and it opens, then we can con continue the diagnosis. But for now, I've tried to open mine and I can see that it's not opening, meaning that it's locking, but somehow the message is not getting to the computer saying that um, it's locked, confirming that it's locked. So we're gonna try to find out what the wiring, something's going on in the wiring. I'm also gonna show you how to test your door switch wiring to make sure that there's no fault there. If you have a multimeter, grab one. If you don't, no worries. Just grab your flat screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. And we're gonna visually inspect that as well, the wiring and the door switch. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this unit off. Once you turn it off, unplug it, safety first. We're gonna need to wait two minutes so that the door can be unlocked by the washer. So just wait two minutes, make yourself a nice cup of tea, and then we'll get back to the repair. Once the door is open, then we're gonna need to remove with your flat screwdriver, there's a seal here, a metal ring that holds this seal in place. This is your door switch. And you're gonna feel around, there'll be a groove. You can feel it there, yep. So put it in there so you can pry this out. It comes out like that. And then voila, it's out. Now for those wondering, my model number for this one is WW75K54E0UW slash SA. It's basically the same things inside here. Now your door switch is over here, which you will take off using a Phillips head screwdriver. Now to remove it, you need to push it to your right and pop it inside and then it comes out. And then the wiring, press those tabs and pull it out. Now we're gonna have a look in the, there's no burning. Usually when this is faulty, there's some burning over here, but there's no burn marks there. I don't wanna find out, see if there's any voltage coming to this and see if it's working properly. Now, if you don't feel comfortable using some multimeters, don't worry, you can skip this step and I can show you somewhere else where you can get this fault. What you want to do when you're checking the voltage here, you also want to check the wiring. Make sure that your wiring is still good. There's no breaks in these wires. It's not brittle because if it breaks, there'll be like high resistance and it doesn't, um, it doesn't work properly. So now on your multimeter, you want to select AC voltage and you want above 250 because your door switch it works, opens and closes at 250 volts. Plug your washer back in, turn the power on. Make sure you've got like rubber shoes on or something in case you need to earth. Uh, all right, I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna probe in there. Just gonna see how much voltage is going in there. So, 
like the voltage doesn't come straight away it's on and off i can i can read something here i'm getting something i am getting something and so there's nothing coming through here well it's it's just a little bit like in my my thing my multimeter is not picking up much but i doubt normally like if if there's a fault you have to look elsewhere before you conclude that it's a main board that's causing the fault and i don't think it's the main board at this point now if you look on your on your washer so usually you're supposed to get 240 coming from this but on mine it's there's nothing coming from there i'm not going to conclude to say that there is um a fault with the main board i want to check something else so for you to get it to pass the voltage through the door switch here there has to be there's another switch here which can be faulty with that you can remove it with a phillips head screwdriver but to access it properly i want to take off the top cover of the washer i'm going to unplug it and i'm going to undo the screws at the back to remove this top cover this top cover there's two screws at the back you'll see them There'll be two of these screws. Slide it back. Off it comes. Now you can undo that Phillips head screw. That just pulls out. There'll be like a terminal holding this in, like some wiring. Just need to pull it out. And this is your switch. This is it. Now you see there's two pins there. You're going to grab your multimeter and put it onto continuity and test continuity is that bit that has like a speaker on it and just test your by just test these by joining them together get a beep sound testing that's working now i'm going to put it so i can test this switch to see if it's registering that it's closed. So one there, one there. So there's nothing yet. I press that. Oops, a bit tricky with these, but we'll get it. If you have a second person they can help you out so this is working so that rules this out it's working we're gonna visually inspect our wiring to make sure that there's no wiring that's been like rubbing on the drum as it rotates we're gonna have a look inside here now normally here it usually rubs off and breaks but it seems to be all right like there's this they've put this protective cover on it personally once you've 
fixed it, you make sure that you zip tie this to that so that there's no chance of it rubbing on that. You're just going to be tracing your wiring and checking at the spots that you think it's going to like rub through. And looking in here, I can see what you're looking is like weak witness marks. Taking a look in there, you can see that this wire has been rubbing on something and there's actually some dust, like copper dust, from it rubbing. And upon turning it around, you can see there's actually damage to it. So you can see that damage. So you can see that that will be an issue. And this, guess where this goes? It goes to that switch that we were just testing. So something that can cause the washer not to close properly, the door not registering closure, something such simple. So what you need to do then is fix this wiring. What I'd do is I'd, I'd splice it and fix all this wiring that's um, like exposed and some of it, there's nothing left on it. Like it's just bits left. So normally on washing machines, this is what happens. It's just wires just bounce, like rubbing against surfaces as this spins. And what you need to do is just fix that wiring and then your washer should work. I'm going to fix my wiring and then we'll see how it goes. Hope yours is the same thing. Usually I'll just use some solder and some um, masking tape and I'll secure all these wires. Once you're done with the repair, just uh, put back the, the wiring for your switch. Just put it back the way you found it. It's in. up make sure it sits there properly like that anyway, like that We attach the door switch, put it in the opposite of what we did. So yeah, in that side first and then close to that side. Once we're done with that, I'm gonna just weave the seal around here. Retaining ring. The idea is to pull this while 
you put these other bits on first and then the springy bit goes in last a bit hard to do on camera <sighs> Spring goes in last. There you go. Beautiful. Let's make sure that it's nicely in there. No chance of it coming out. Okay. Make sure that your wiring is secure. Samsung or on eBay just quote your model number and ask for a door switch and then you can buy that but first check all your wiring as we did and then putting everything back is just in reverse make sure you secure your cables and safety first thanks for tuning in I'll see you on the next one